Hello again. I want to talk about knives that are legal to carry, but for some reason some people think are not legal to carry. What I mean is, these knives here are all legal to carry, but for some reason some people, the police included, seem to think that they're still illegal to carry even though there's a clear exemption in the law that says that these are legal to carry. Now, I think the law is really confusing, but this part of you can carry a knife that's less than 3 inches and is non-locking without a good reason is pretty clear cut. Now, I've seen on social media for some reason people worrying about the looks of certain knives. Basically, people acknowledge that these knives are legal to carry. And we're talking about something that might look a bit more intimidating to the average person or the police. So we're talking something like this. Something like your little Swiss Army knife isn't really going to upset that many people, generally speaking. Or a small traditional pocket knife is going to be perceived by most people, including the police, as a bit less threatening than perhaps something like this, or like this. Now, the look of the knife is kind of irrelevant, for one thing. It doesn't matter if it looks more aggressive. This is still legal to carry, as are all of these, except that Leatherman, which is just weird, because it locks. It doesn't matter how aggressive this looks. It's got a cutting edge of less than three inches, and it doesn't lock. So this is one that's perfectly legal to carry. I can put it in my pocket all day, walk around my business, walk around doing my business, go to the shop, go to the woods, go to the park, go on the bus. Perfectly legal. So long as I'm not, you know, waving it around like a knob, essentially. I mean, you don't want to act in a threatening manner, in which case the police do have grounds to confiscate it. But if you're just having it in your pocket, even if the police don't like it, if the police think, well, eh, that's maybe a bit much, maybe, you know, we don't want you carrying that, well... I don't care what the police want, I don't care what they want, you shouldn't either, because the police's opinion is completely irrelevant on knives like this, unless you're being a dick with it. Having it in your pocket, for whatever reason, so long as you're not planning on threatening anyone with it, isn't a crime. That's why the law says it's legal to carry a knife with a cutting edge of less than three inches and is non-locking without a good reason. It's a, it's a clear-cut exemption. Now, one individual left a comment on one of my videos about this knife. He replied to the video uh, titled just Boker Plus Worldwide because, you know, my, my title videos are so cre uh, creative and all that. I'm, I'm an absolute master at thinking of uh, titles, as you can see. Anyway, uh, he went into his police, local police station, showed the police this knife, at least according to the comment, and I've got no reason to disbelieve what this individual is saying and asked, is this legal to carry? Now, I'm not sure why he did that, because it's got a cutting edge of less than three inches, and it is non-locking. Okay, no lock on this. That cutting edge is about the same as the cutting edge on a Swiss Army knife. And if you want to be a smart ass and do that thing with the ruler where you follow the curvature, I've already checked, it's less than three inches, it's less than three inches so we're not going to get one of those gotchas on the technicality or anything like that. It's less than three inches along the, the length of the blade if you follow the curve. And even from here to here, it's still less than three inches. It doesn't matter how you measure it, that cutting edge is less than three inches. The point is, the police looked at the knife and decided that is too stiff and there's more blade than you need. Well, the comment also said it's legal, but we would arrest you anyway. What's the point then? What's the point in having that exemption? What's the point in having laws on knives? What's the point in any of it if we could just decide, well, that law actually doesn't apply because we don't like it? Because that's exactly what's happened there, if what I've been told in the comment is correct. So what is the point in that? Furthermore, how do you determine what knife is too stiff? Admittedly, this knife is known for being quite stiff. That's absolutely a fair point, but this is kind of stiff too. Maybe not as stiff. But is this too stiff? When I got this knife, it was extremely stiff. It's only from years and years and years of use and actually fighting with it for it to not be too stiff. This is probably one of the most popular knives for UK carry. This is the Boker Plus XS and I would definitely recommend this uh, as one of your, your first UK legal knives. 
just because it has a lot of the features you'd want it's got one handed opening it's got the choil it's a it's a good all around knife it's comfortable it's got the pocket clip blah blah blah, blah. i've already done a video on it if you want to see it who's to decide this isn't too stiff and by the way when i got this knife it was rather stiff it was so stiff it was actually painful to open again years of use and oiling the knife it's no longer stiff but if i was to tighten the pivot it'd be stiff again because that's just how it works not only that the choil now it doesn't matter how stiff that blade is i can still close it with this so long as my finger is there it will not close does that mean a knife like this could then be problematic? Now, another point I'd really like to, to mention is the police, there isn't any sort of guidelines on how stiff a knife is allowed to be because there's nothing in law that says a knife is only allowed to be X amount of stiffness. And it's not like the police can go to the police station with that knife and then measure it and say, yep, this is fine, or nope, that's just over the boundaries. I mean, with the cutting edge, you can quite clearly measure from here to here, because the law says cutting edge is not overall, not overall length. You could measure that. You could measure that with a ruler. You could measure it in inches. You could measure it in centimetres. It doesn't really matter. But you could measure it. So if it's 3.1 inches, guess what? It's illegal to carry. If it's 3 inches or 2.9 inches, perfectly fine. So there's a clear-cut boundary. Likewise, if you're caught drink driving, they can take you to the police station and have you blow into a breathalyzer and then it'll pop up with a number. No such test exists for testing the knife stre the strength of a, a, a spring on a knife. I'm sure you could get some other sort of device that does that, but the point is the police are not issued with such equipment. They don't have guidelines on how strong it's supposed to be. Because it doesn't exist in UK law, so why the stiffness was brought up, I don't know. It looks scary, doesn't matter, nothing in law about it. That's like saying a rifle with a wooden stock is absolutely fine, but the exact same rifle with a synthetic black stock is not because it's scary looking. It looks like a military style assault rifle, that's just dumb. A Ruger 1022 in a wooden stock and a Ruger 1022 in a synthetic stock is the same bloody rifle, it does not matter. Utterly pointless. So this is just appearance laws. So really it doesn't make it... I mean it's like saying this knife is scary because it's black but this one's not because it's got a silver blade. It's just silly. Now if we're talking about this knife being not legal to carry, even though it's legal to carry. I would love to see that explained to a judge by the way. I would, I would really like to see that one like... Oh yeah, it's legal to carry, but we arrested him anyway. Why? Oh, it looks scary. All right, two years in jail for you, pal. How does that work? That's just shitting all over the law. Which, to be fair, I think they've done anyway. I think they, I think they enforce it selectively anyway. I think they use their discretion really poorly, and I've been at the wrong end of that. If if we're arguing that this shouldn't be carried, you're also arguing this shouldn't be carried because it's got a finger choil. And because, well, it might look a bit aggressive, it's too much blade. Who gets to the side was too much? For some people, it's not enough. That also opens the door to say, well, this is too much blade. You also, it's also too stiff. I mean, it can be. I mean, what I find stiff and what the next person might find stiff is two different things. This might be perfect for me, but too stiff for you. Also, we've got this tab, which... I'm not really sure the functionality of that, to be honest. I guess it's kind of a finger guard. But anyway, it also stops the knife from closing on my finger. So I suppose it's a safety feature. And then that opens the door for questioning the UKPK. And if that happens, well, that's all knives blown out of the water. Because this is one of the one of the most popular knives in the UK. In fact, I would definitely put these three in the top ten, in my own opinion. I'm a big fan of these two, not so much this one. But if we're pulling into question this knife, I'm afraid we're pulling into question almost all knives, except maybe Swiss Army knives and traditionals. And to be honest, it's just a matter of time for them as well. So I don't think we should shoot ourselves in the foot and then say, oh, well, I better just please them and not upset them because this reason doesn't work like that. And for some reason... 
people had a hissy fit about the Leatherman Bond not being legal to carry in the UK because you have to open up the handles to take out the knife and put it back. Ignoring the fact that it's got a lock for a second, the Leatherman Bond doesn't. You just close the blade, but you have to open the handle. So the act of opening the handle, people are... And this isn't coming from the police. This is coming from Leatherman fans, people like you and I who enjoy these things. Trying to suggest that that's not legal to carry. I'm done with that. Honestly, what absolute nonsense. It's bad enough not being able to carry this. This is not a weapon. This is quite clearly a tool. It's frustrating enough as it is not being allowed to carry this. I love that, by the way. We're not allowed. We're children in a playground. Big Daddy government says no. You've got to listen to Big Daddy government. You can't You can't take it out. You have to do as you're told. Otherwise, well, you get put in a cage. Well, thanks. That's, that's good. I, I guess I better, I better sit down and shut up like a good boy then. Anyway, I don't think I've got any more to say about this. I, I don't know how many times I've filmed this video because I forgot something. Um, absolutely, please let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you've, if you've had any experiences in regards to the police and knives, whether you've been stopped and they asked why you had it, if it was a good experience, if it was a bad experience, have you had a UK legal knife confiscated? Um, I would also like to, I don't remember if I said already, but I would like to say thanks to the individual who actually left that comment on my channel. Uh, by the way, this video was not in any way meant to be uh, disrespectful or anything like that to that individual. I, I do greatly appreciate that comment being left. Of course, I've replied to him. Uh, but yeah, I, one last thing. I would actually be curious, if I haven't said this already, if the same individual asked about the legality of this in the exact same fashion that he asked about the legality of this. Likewise, the Spyderco UKPK Terminus and whatever other knives you see fit, because I'm actually curious now. Uh, personally, I think it's very bad that the police are looking at certain knives and saying, yeah, it's legal, but we're arrest you anyway. Where does that leave us? What's the point? Why bother following the law? And before anyone gets any ideas, no, I'm not encouraging you to break the law. What you do is your decision. Nothing to, to do with me. I'm just a moron talking about things on the internet, and that's all it should be considered as. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Once again, please leave your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you after.